Hello, hello. Today, uh, it's a little bit crazy day, you know, uh, because um, a series of storms are passing through Poland where I'm streaming uh, from. And we have this crazy weather. Um, in uh, five minutes, you can have a huge storm with rain and wind. And uh, five minutes later, uh, it's a beautiful sun and birds are singing and <laughs> it's a full uh, spring. So um, it may happen uh, due to the storm that um, the electricity will, uh, will go down and uh, I might lose the connection with the internet. But if that happens, um, I will come back um, in the afternoon when the storms uh, will um, just, you know, uh, discontinue. So, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's start officially. Uh, hello, this is Maggie, your fearless uh, marketing coach. Today, I'm going to share with you a very practical uh, topic. Uh, recently, we were speaking about um, more spiritual stuff, and now uh, I decided that today we will start with a starting point. So, uh, the title for today's streaming is where do I even start with this online thing? Let me just um, improve myself on the chair. Yes. Um, and I was thinking, you know, how, how to start that really? Um, because for, for, many, uh, for many female entrepreneurs, for many uh, business women, the decision to go online seems to be like... Uh, learning the, the new stuff, learning the new language. Most of the things um, is new. However, uh, it feels like there is a lot of expectations, a lot of uh, new activities uh, that you are expected to do and not all of them sit well. Um, for some, uh, you are simply uncertain. Uh, for some, you feel un unconfident. Uh, with some, you have no idea, you know, uh, what to do, <laughs> what to do with them, and uh, whether this is the right, uh, the right way. Uh, and it all really uh, creates uh, the feeling of confusion, uh, some fears, uh, not necessary stress uh, or unnecessary stress, uh, especially that uh, online you have so many uh, gurus, online gurus, uh, that will be telling you stuff. And you have really no tools uh, even to, to check whether this is right um, and to make sure uh, how you can select um, the person to, to follow for guidance. Uh, and, uh, and that is really adding up to, uh, to the whole uh, difficult from the beginning uh, situation but hey you are brave enough you took the decision to um, to expand online your offline business and uh, I hugely congratulate you uh, for this decision because I know that this is not uh, not an easy one um, and I really would like to to share with you with some learnings uh, that I have acquired over the last uh, almost two years uh, moving myself uh, online um, while having uh, already established consulting business. Um, I am established um, marketing professional uh, with over 25 uh, plus years of experience uh, and uh, I consult uh, corporate clients. Uh, I am an expert with European Commission uh, with building efficient uh, funnels and communication patterns and in strategic marketing. Um, and to tell you the truth, when I took the decision uh, to move online, for me it was quite obvious that I will just go um, the same path I was recommending to my uh, corporate clients. So I started with, uh, first of all, deciding whether uh, I will be active online with the same brand name uh, as I am um, in the consulting business, in the offline world. Uh, and I decided to create the new, totally new brand. 
uh, and that's how Maggie's Hub uh, was, um, was born. Uh, and then obviously uh, I needed the logo uh, for Maggie's Hub um, and I needed, well actually I didn't need but I decided that um, I'm going to develop um, this beautiful website which is um, equipped with a full library of um, posts, of podcasts, of videos, um, of a lot of material that I had to really uh, develop from scratch and I had to spend time to uh, to create um, and after developing the website or in parallel uh, with uh, with doing that um, I was concentrating on uh, starting my visibility or igniting my my visibility spark and I wanted to be visible you know as professional as as possible uh, because I'm, I'm this, you know, marketing professional, so I cannot be uh, unprofessional and I cannot be relaxed uh, about that. Uh, so I have, uh, I have invested in um, first um, selecting and deciding which social media channels I'm going to, um, to use. Um, but then I ended up having five or six or eight even um, social media uh, profiles. Um, currently I have um, my, my main uh, like source of communication uh, is Facebook and LinkedIn. So I have a um, personal profile on uh, Facebook uh, two business profiles on, on Facebook. One is for Maggie's Hub and one is for Maggie Biernacka, which I am promoting right now heavily. Uh, then on LinkedIn, I have a personal uh, profile, Małgorzata Biernacka, uh, and a um, professional one for Maggie's Hub. And then I have a YouTube channel under Maggie's Hub, uh, so, and I'm thinking right now about opening um, uh, Instagram and maybe Pinterest. But all in all, it's uh, it is a lot, you know. And um, right now, uh, I feel really uh, comfortable in that. Uh, but I'm sure that um, the minute you are starting, uh, that might be a burden, and that might be. Um, bringing you the feeling of um, at least overwhelm to, to cope with all of that. Um, so where, what I would like to share with you today, I would like to share with you actually the, the, shorter, uh, the shorter, the easier way, because if you ask me today, uh, what is the best uh, way for uh, moving your offline business into online, uh, being in the service-based industry and being a change maker myself, um, I would give you a completely different uh, recommendation than uh, two years ago. And it doesn't mean that uh, I'm not professional. Uh, it just means that uh, today I have a different, different opinion and I know that there is a, a simpler, easier way which I personally appreciate a lot uh, because uh, those of you guys who are with me for some time, uh, you already know that uh, I am a big fan of uh, uh, making things easier and uh, trying to show even complicated things uh, in a uh, straightforward um, way. So let me just check whether we have uh, any comments on uh, on that uh, on that moment any questions no i don't see any all right so coming coming back um i would i would uh, today i would recommend you really the three fundamental steps uh, which will give you the sense of um, making your steps um, 
how shall I put it? Not only strategically, but logically, uh, and in a in a best way, um, with the best connection uh, with your um, with your inner self, but also with the best connection with your business. So, step number one. Step number one, which is creating a lot of momentum uh, for your business. And this step is really defining everything. Everything, uh, this will be the springboard for you uh, for every uh, future step. Let me just take a sip of, uh, of tea. Since we have this uh, crazy tea or uh, wild coffee with Maggie. Uh, Okay, so uh, what is this step? I call this step one-liner. What is one-liner, really? You might not, <laughs> you might not know. You might not heard this uh, this expression. Well, one-liner is really one maximum two sentences that will explain your message to the world. So who you are. Uh, and uh, what you do, what kind of problem you solve um, for your client, and um, what is their transformation really after working with you? Uh, so maybe to to bring you some some tangible um, examples. Um, I was looking for my uh, one liner for some time, um, and right now it says. Uh, hi, I'm Maggie, your uh, fearless marketing coach, and um, I will help you let go your fears and become unstoppable on your way uh, to um, taking your offline business online. Um, so actually, this is really um, one sentence, maybe two sentences, uh, that expresses basically how I would like to position myself and how I would like to be uh, visible um, online. I am fearless marketing coach. I would like people to associate me with uh, this kind of transformation and uh, the end result, which is becoming fearless and unstoppable. Uh, why do I need that? Well, um, I would like to stand out from the crowd of uh, other coaches which um, might help you uh, with um, your online marketing, uh, with your you know, message, uh, with a million of other stuff, with confidence maybe. Um, and I could at the beginning um, tell you that I am, um, I am guru in marketing. I have this 25 plus years of experience in marketing and I know everything about uh, classic marketing and uh, online marketing. Um, definitely most of it. Uh, but this is, it doesn't help you at the moment because um, this is a very, very broad description. Um, and I think that you cannot be everything to everyone. So, um, in my case, um, also defining my client, which is really defining the niche, um, is um, helping to build to build this positioning because this one liner is really reflecting your your brand positioning. Um, that's um, that is actually the the next step. Um, I would like you to, to think about your ideal client. Who you want to work with? Do you want to work with everyone out there? And I do not really recommend that. However, many people will tell you that uh, um, if you position yourself um, towards very specific niche and very specific target audience, you will limit yourself. This is, in my opinion, totally not true. What you are doing, you are actually, yes, you are narrowing down, which means that you are filtering all the people that do not need your 
um, your services. Um, a little side um, side comment. Our brain was is built in such a way, and the build of our future clients is built in such a way that um, the the brain, while um, looking into the um, information outside, any information outside, um, is trying to burn as little calories as possible. So any information which requires uh, more calorie consumption, i.e. this information is not clear and uh, requires uh, the brain uh, to focus longer than necessary, is simply rejected. So our job as marketeers and uh, our job as business uh, owners is to build our message in such a way that uh, it lands in, uh, in the brain of our uh, future clients in uh, one, two, three seconds. That's it. This is how long you have um, to catch their attention and to make sure that uh, you are understood. Uh, so people don't have to overthink um, and judge whether, okay, this is interesting, this is catchy, but what is this really about? So you have to be precise, like laser sharp, clear. Um, I think that if you hear my fearless marketing coach, uh, you know that at least there is something about harnessing the fears and there is something about... Uh, marketing and something about coaching so so there is a teaching and mentoring and uh, and this kind of support uh, and if you are on the journey um, looking for this kind of support then uh, you will turn your eyes on me so uh, just to recap step number one that was uh, that was your one-liner um, expressing who you are and how you help um, your, uh, your audience, your future clients, and what is the transformation. Uh, in the nutshell, you can say, hello, I am, mm -mm -mm, uh, and I support this kind of uh, clients so that they do this and that, so that they transform or the end result of uh, working with me is uh, ABC. Uh, step number two was uh, selecting the, uh, your target audience, really. Uh, but in fact, we are looking uh, into our ideal clients. And the ideal client is, is the client you really would love to work with. So first, you, you start with um, um, even demographics. You know, I am, I am working with um, established business owners, people who have their offline business. They are not um, some rookies having their first, uh, first business. I am working with uh, mature, mature women, women um, which are at least 45 plus, uh, women who have uh, already grown up children. Uh, and that's a different standing in, um, in business and different experience in business than uh, someone who, um, who is a first-time first mother, for instance, or someone who has uh, young children at home. Um, it is a different mindset, different needs, different, uh, different approach. So think about uh, where your future client, your amazing uh, future client you would like to work with uh, is on her life uh, journey and on her business journey. What kind of needs uh, they have so that you can help them in their uh, transformation uh, and put your laser sharp uh, glasses uh, to, to really think about this, this transformation. Um, you don't have to be right at the very beginning. Uh, it took me a good uh, couple of months to arrive to the place where I am right now and uh, calling myself fearless marketing coach uh, sits well in, um, in my uh, you know, integrity and authenticity, uh, but also it reflects what I do and um, with uh, what kind of uh, issues and problems I am working um, with my clients. 
because I am, I am working with people who are coming to me uh, being really scared and um, feeling um, unconfident on their um, new online journey. Um, however, we are working on uh, actually three areas. We are working on their mindset so that they can harness their fears and they know how to, um, how to communicate uh, with their fears and how to confront their fears. Uh, while um, stepping forward uh, and executing um, absolutely the best marketing and sales uh, strategies and tactics, uh, so we do the we do the marketing um, very strong marketing portion, um, and also I add on top of that the uh, the training technological training because many women have this uh, fear that um, the technology out there, especially um, women uh, from my generation, I mean, generation which is about 50, uh, 50 plus, uh, some of you are really scared that uh, you cannot you know, cope with uh, um, technical stuff, graphic design stuff, maybe things related to social media or, or website, which are not that complicated if you know how. And if you have a good guide, uh, and I believe that uh, if you are, you know, qualified to to run the business and to run um, and discuss with the tax office, uh, you will cope with uh, with all the technology out there because this is really really doable. Um, so, yeah, there, there were this uh, these two things. Obviously, to generate one liner, you will need to know first your uh, your ideal client um, and the third thing which you need um, you would need an element that will um, build the springboard for your visibility uh, so yes you will need to um, start becoming active in social media but my recommendation will be really to start uh, with your uh, personal uh, profile uh, you just need to select um, the channel I mean um, make sure where you're actually your future clients uh, gather where they are really are they on Facebook are they on Instagram Pinterest LinkedIn uh, YouTube maybe uh, and based on that um, then you either establish your um, personal profile or you clean up uh, your profile. Uh, if you had your profile, um, personal profile on the social media, um, you might need to clean it up because, uh, for instance, in, in my case, well, uh, sorry, one step uh, backwards, you would need a personal profile, first of all, to set up any other business profile uh, from social for social for your social media activities um, so anyway you need to have it you will need to have it to um, later to generate your campaigns paid campaigns um, in in few months uh, in in the future but also to build your um, business um, profiles um, However, you would like, you don't need, uh, you know, the business profile at the moment. Your name stands for your brand. And uh, it is enough to start communicating with people and creating um, really meaningful conversations um, in the social media, on the social media scene under your own name. Um, you can create all the other stuff the one-liner, the, the brand, the logo, the website, other channels on the go. Once you already um, discussed with your future clients, you made your research, uh, you are experienced um, with the, you know, having the real conversation with some, some of your um, represent, representative of your future clients. It may happen that uh, you will generate sales not having 
um, other uh, sales uh, support, be it uh, you will not have a landing page or you will not have website and you can easily um, find clients um, online. So huh, I was uh, talking a lot and maybe I gave you um, a lot of um, side, um, uh, side elements. So let me just recap. You absolutely don't need in the, in the very beginning and it, it, for at least six months, I, I would say. You don't need the website. You don't need the landing pages. You don't need um, your professional or other business. Um, business, uh, social media uh, channels, but you need your personal social media channel. You need to know and you need to really spend time on this. Uh, who is your ideal client? Uh, and don't treat it as, a, as an easy and trivial um, task because it's not. You have to be really very, very precise uh, however, the interaction with your future clients uh, will give you a great um, uh, environment and the springboard to, to build this um, your future client avatar or your future client profile. And having all of that, um, you will generate your, um, your one-liner. Um, once you have your one-liner, then you can start really build your visibility, uh, build your um, landing pages, website, sales offer, etc., etc. So I hope I hope that this um, this little video uh, helped you today, uh, and now you know what is the real shortcut uh, into the online world. Uh, I'm sure that um, I'm saving you at least two or three months of uh, huge stress, um, which would be uh, related, for instance, to, to building the website, which at some point you will build. Uh, no worries about that, uh, but not in the, as, as the first step. Um, so guys, I think it's enough for today. Uh, I'm happy that um, we managed to arrive without any electricity interruption. Uh, have fun uh, for the rest of your day and if you have questions um, related to these uh, three steps just uh, give a shout and uh, I'll try to help you. Bye!